Hello, thanks for joining us for another video. In this video, we'll be taking a look at creating drawing sheets within Vertex BD. The drawing sheets are stored within the template project and are copied whenever you create a new project based on a selected template. If we go to the output tab and select the drawing sheets option, Vertex will then display a window showing the drawing sheets which are within the active project. The drawing sheets are generally just a collection of reference drawings with possibly a few elements added on top. If we look at our basic ground floor drawing sheet for this tutorial project, we can see that we have a simple drawing sheet showcasing the 2D model for this floor. We can see which reference drawings are on this sheet currently by going to the modeling tab, reference drawings, and then select the properties option. Within here, we see there are two reference drawings. One is called tutor1.vxp. This is our tutorial reference drawing we have added to the drawing sheet. The other, ground underscore walls.vxp, is the ground level wall layout within the project. Once we create more in depth drawing sheets, which include things such as our title block reference drawing, these will also be located here. Let's have a look at creating drawing sheets within Vertex BD. Creating drawing sheets is a simple process and is essentially just a matter of adding the reference drawings you would like to be a part of your drawing sheet together. Firstly, go back to the output tab, then select the drawing sheets, and this time we're going to select the new button. We then give our new drawing sheet a file name and a title, and then once done, we click OK. Now we have a new blank drawing sheet ready for us to add any reference drawings we require. To begin with, we need to look to add a title block to our drawing. To do this, simply right click within the workspace and select add drawing sheet in title block as shown. BD will then display the drawing sheet properties window where you can choose between fixed and parametric sheet types and associated properties as required. In this example, we'll utilize the fixed sheet option and we'll select the A2L.VXP option, which will give us an A2 size drawing sheet and title block. Now with our title block ready to place, we right click and choose the set scaling factor option to check this is set to one to one, which it is. We then escape out of the scaling options and right click again, but this time we choose the option to snap our title block to the origin point as shown. This will correctly apply our A2 drawing sheet and title block to our drawing sheet's origin point. With this completed, we can then amend some of the title block information as required simply via right clicking in the drawing sheet workspace and choosing the edit active document option as shown. Next, we can go on to adding any required drawings we need to add to our new drawing sheet. To complete this, we can either use the option to add drawing to sheet here in the output tab or we can within the working window, right click and select the same option from here. Selecting either will give us the same four options for the drawing types we can add. In this example, we'll utilize the floor plan drawing option. Once selected, BD will then give us the option to choose our drawing from all the available floors within our project. As you can see for our example house, we have the option to choose between the first floor drawings second floor drawings, ground floor, roof, etc. We are going to choose the ground floor walls option. Once we have selected that, we're then able to add our drawing to our drawing sheet. As we're using an A2 drawing sheet, our drawing will need to be scaled to suit. So we again right click and utilize the set scaling factor option that is required. In this case, we'll choose the one to 50 option. Once we are happy with the scaling, we can then simply add it to our drawing sheet as required via right clicking where we would like to place the drawing. Snap points can be used here or you can freely place your drawing where you require. Once we have completed scaling and placing the drawing, we have added our first drawing to our drawing sheet successfully. At this point, we can add more drawings to our sheet if required by following the same steps again, or we can save the drawing sheet as shown. Next, we will take a look at creating a more advanced style of drawing sheet, including multiple drawings and also a cross-section view. 
Firstly, let's add our ground floor walls drawing again, but this time slightly smaller so that we can fit a few more drawings to our sheet. As per our previous drawing sheet, we will again create a new one, and as per last time, we will right click, select our drawings to sheet, and add our ground floor wall drawing from within the floor plan drawings. Again, as per last time, we will scale the drawing as shown. Next, let's add some elevation, section, and perspective drawings. Again, we right click, select add drawing to sheet, and this time we select the elevation, section, and perspective view drawings option. Within here, as you can see, we have both black and white color elevation drawings to choose from. In this case, we will add a front and left elevation to our drawing. This is done in the same method as we have utilized previously and as shown. Let's take a look at including a cross section view. To do this, within the output tab, select define cross section view. Then select two or more points to define your section line. The arrow indicates the viewing direction. Hit confirm on your keyboard once you've defined your required points. When defining a section view, you always want to make sure you choose the sections model. You can select how far you want to see from the section line from the view by entering a distance here. If you enter zero, you'll be able to see it all the way through to the other end of the structure. We then enter a label and give the view a name. Now that this view has been defined, we then can update the view by going to the drawings menu and selecting update views. This gives us a list of our projects, individual view drawings, and now includes our new one. This we select, and then once selected, we make sure both the update views and update model options are checked, as we haven't generated those yet. With these options selected, we can then press the OK button. BD will then ask for a scale to be entered. In this instance, we will stick with the default scale. After the view is generated, it will open on screen. This we can close, and then at this point, we are ready to add our new section view drawing to our drawing sheet. To do this, we do the same as we have previously by right clicking, selecting Add Drawings to Sheet, selecting Elevation, Section, and Perspective View Drawings, and then choosing our newly added section view drawing as shown. Next, let's have a look at adding another kind of view. Firstly, we'll go to our ground floor walls model pair. There are a variety of other views that we can create. These can be defined under the cross section view menu. As you can see, you can define a variety of different views here. Let's have a look at creating a new perspective view. This time, we will select the elevation model as we are taking a view from the exterior of the model. Once selected, BD is now awaiting us to select the location where the camera will be placed to generate the perspective view. Down in the bottom left, you will see the default height for the Z height and tilt angle. These can be changed by selecting the Z button here. In this example, we'll make these 200 inches and a tilt angle of minus 10 degrees. Now, when we press OK, we can zoom out and select a point on the layout and then a direction towards the house. So, I left click to select the direction. We can then give this a label. So, we'll keep this as A for this example. And then name the view Perspective View A. Once that is completed, we can then go and generate that view by updating the view as we have done previously and as shown. With the scale selected, we can now see the new perspective view we've created. Now, when we add this to our drawing sheet, we this time load our drawing sheet without the update models and views options selected, as we don't need to update anything currently and our views have already been generated. This makes the loading of the drawing sheet quicker, as it's not updating views on models whilst loading. 
Now we can add the new drawing. Perspective views need to be scaled way down. So we scale down as per we have done with other elements previously by here in a one column question mark button. Now with our drawing scaled, we left click to locate it where required on the sheet. And now that's completed, we can close and save the finished drawing. Now that all our views have been defined on our drawing sheet, should we ever need to update them due to changes in the model itself, it's a simple case of once changes have been made to the model, we then update the required views as we have done in this guide previously. Dimensions for elevations and section views need to be added directly to the views themselves. Should this be required, it's a very simple process to complete. We simply right click, then choose Open View Drawing from Sheet. We select one of the views, for example this one here. This will then open up and become active for us to add our dimensions. These can be added from the Drafting tab, where we can add dimensions and any other drafting elements that might be required. When we open a view from a sheet, we are automatically in the Add Only mode, so we are adding elements on top of the view. This means that if the view ever gets regenerated, then these elements will remain on top of the updated view. If you ever need to edit the view itself, you can change to that mode by right clicking and selecting Select View Drawing Editing Mode. From here, you can edit the lines and hatches which make up the view. Please note if the view ever needs to be re edited, these changes will be removed and replaced. Thank you for joining us for this video guide on creating drawing sheets within Vertex BD. Stay tuned for our next video on the different packages available for Vertex BD.